Hi everybody, it's Miss Philly. What's up? I got good lighting. What's up? I wanted to do my um what's in my bag video because I don't really have a what's in my bag video and the only video that I have is in what's in my sex bag video and since your heifer girl hasn't had sex in a while, yeah, I don't have that bag anymore. So I want to do an updated what's in my bag video, uh, a real one this time. <laughs> since I have good lighting, I thought I would film it for you heifers. So the bag in question is my... Hermes, I mean, my guess bag. Yes, guess. I love guess. I don't know. A lot of people don't like guess, but I love guess bags. They're just so funky and trendy. Some may seem, some may think that it's very high school, but I kind of like their designs and I kind of like, you know, their higher end bags. One of my favorite bags of all time was the Aussie Satchel. It came out in 2005 and it was my favorite bag ever. It was long, it was thick, it was kind of like an ostrich faux leather kind of thing. And I really love that bag. I lent it to my mom and she like snipped the buckle that goes over the bag and I just nearly died, you know. That shit broke my heart, you know. I'm reminiscing about the bag right now. G give me a moment. Give me a moment. I went to the guest store about October. No, September. Yeah, about September. And I saw this bag and I fell in love with it. It was it was this red guest bag. It also came in black, but I kind of like the red because I really don't have any red bags. And it's a top handle and also a over-the-shoulder cross-body bag. I mean, their leather is okay. It's not as high-end or good quality as, say, a coach leather bag or, you know, Chanel or those higher brands. But, I mean, it does serve its purpose for an everyday bag. And I pack this bitch like a porn star. I'm not even kidding you. And it has a slit here and a slit here. And I just attached my Juicy Couture um Parve, Pave, Parve, Pave, Diamond, Crystal, whatever, Charm. And yeah, I love this bag. So let's get into it, right? You want to get inside me, don't you? Okay. So of course, the first thing that I need... Ugh, oh, God, look at that shit. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> you know you're fat when your double chin gets caught on your bag handle, you know. Anywho... <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that I have in my bag, which everybody should have in their bag, is their cell phone. So I only have the iPhone 5. I mean, I'm not a baller. I ain't got no money to buy the 5S. And, oh wait, that's the wrong code. <clears throat> so this is just my iPhone 5. Nothing fancy. And the case is from... I think it was from, like, Dollar Store. Yeah, Dollar Store. Okay, Heffers, the next thing in my bag is my wallet, of course. Everybody needs a wallet. It's just a Kenneth Cole New York wallet. I found this at the thrift shop. It was, like, three bucks. And it's, like, the leather is fabulous. It gets all scuffy, and I don't really mind it because it kind of gives it character, you know? Everything gets character. And I love the plate in front. And I love the style of wallet. It's like the accordion style or whatever. Um, that's my idea. I look like a hot mess. So you ain't seen that shit. You ain't seen my shit. <laughs> Credit cards. Store cards. Gift cards. Rewards cards. And yeah. It's nothing really special. And it has this zip over here. So that's kind of convenient. Okay, next uh, is, sorry, that's my Tourette's coming out. I'm not even kidding you. Yeah, I do have Tourette's. Yeah, I do. I just inside that shit because, you know, I want to embarrass myself, you know? Okay, I got this Echinacea thing. It's expired, but I still take it because I figure, you know, this shit's still good till the end of the year. It says expires like June 2013, but this shit's still good, Okay. This shit expensive, so this shit's still good. Anyway, I take this because I don't want to get sick. And, you know, I get sick a lot because I'm a sick person. 
And yeah, more more ways than one. I'm a sick person. But I take it every day just to boost my immune system. And that's that. Oh, I got a Toni Braxton CD. Her very first CD came out in 93 Bitches. Toni B, yeah. I love her first CD. It's probably one of my favorite albums of all time. Um, or at least ones that I want to jam to because this just personifies old school R&B and you know Tony Braxton is just the bomb diggity and probably my favorite song in here would be Breathe Again yeah I love that song actually this is probably one of the first CDs I bought too when I first got my CD player back in 93 I know that's like 20 years ago I was probably like two years old Anywho, Tony Bree, I just wanted to listen to her album in my car and jam to that shit. Okay, next I got... Uh, there it goes, getting stuck in my... My sunglasses, they're Maui gems. They're also prescription. These bitches cost like $600, yeah. I really wanted the Jackie O's from Ray-Ban, but they didn't really suit my face, so I went with these. Because they're big and black. Just like I like my dong. Yeah. I like that they cover most of my face. I kind of hate that it personifies my nose. But what you gonna do about that Jay-Z shit, right? I'm gonna be like a Dulce Candy and get a nose job. Because, you know, she didn't need a nose job. But, you know, she's, ow, I'm poking myself everywhere. She looked good then and she looked good now, so... Kudos to her. But I mean, like, this shit, like, freaking my nostrils take up half my face. Like, I'm not even kidding you. Like, I look magnochromatic. So, like, like there's skin living behind my nostril. I'm not even kidding you. Like, I need to wipe that shit down because I don't know what's behind there. Anywho. Sunglasses. Next is, oh, Nivea Night Care. I just use this. Because my face gets dry, and since I don't use um, foundation and shit at the moment, I just put it on when my face gets dry, because this is very moisturizing. Oh, I got some scissors. I need to cut something in my car. So, you know, you should carry scissors, too, because you never know when you need to stab a bitch who cuts you off in drive through you know. Bitch, I need my McDonald's first! I got my MAC makeup bag. My friend got this for me for Christmas in 2000 two so it's very 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 vintage i mean yeah I and mean, it's when i first started to get into mac i don't even carry makeup in it i carry that i carry coupons food coupons cleanser towelettes um nivea lip care um chapsticks some cards that i don't really use at the moment a lot a hair tie some concentrated um Freshener and guys need to take a dump in public. Yeah, this is a lifesaver. Mm. Oh, I do have a MAC uh, lip tender tone in uh, Tender Baby. So that's kind of cute. And really, that's it. Oh, and my purse holder. So when I'm out eating, I can just hang it on the table. Next is, oh, this Polaroid camera. Because I met up with a friend and I wanted to take some pictures. And it's very, very vintage. It only cost me like $3.99 at the thrift store, and I kind of like it. I mean, the film for it is really expensive. It's $24.99, so you only get eight shots. And see, it's on. It's working. And then the photo just pops out, and you got your instant camera. I just like the vintage feel of it, and the fact that it's functional is just a bonus. Okay, so the final two things in my bag are this DKNY eyeglass case I got it from the thrift store too I think for like 50 cents but I use it to hide my keys in because I don't like my keys um, especially if I'm carrying a more expensive bag I don't want it to scratch the inside of it and yeah so I just keep it inside here and yeah that's what my lanyard says the final thing is my Louis Vuitton um clay something or whatever I just keep my coins in here so that they're not just in my wallet, especially if I'm using my expensive wallet too. I just keep it in there. And my bank card, some receipts. Uh, what's in this? Oh, Kleenex. I need Kleenex. It's a lifesaver. 
I mean, I leak fluid everywhere. If it's not coming out of here, it's coming out of there. It's coming out of back there. It's coming out of over here. It's like coming out of everywhere. But uh, I stole these ones from 7-Eleven because when I go there, I just grab a bunch of So, but I got a bunch of Kleenex and some coupons again. And that is the end of my bag. Oh, wait, let's look at the front. Nope, nothing there. And the back. Oh, Mo Kleenex and some more receipts and coupons. Anywho, guys, that's it for my What's in My Bag video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.